Hi, and welcome to another Web Tools video. Today we're going to show you the OA Card Editor, which allows you to create 3D pop up cards. In this example, I'll show you this 3D castle here and show you a few tips and tricks that will make editing your card a little bit easier. So first off, you can see if I click outside the card and drag, I can manipulate the view of the card. That's helpful when you're editing. You can also scroll to see how the card would look when it's closed or open. In addition, you can manipulate this feature using the meter over on the right. To create a brand new card, come over to the left side and click on New. If you select this drop down button, you can change the dimensions of the card. And then just click New, you'll get a brand new card. The first thing that you'll notice that's different is this blue grid. If you turn to the right, you can see the grid here in a profile view. As you can tell, it's offset from the back of the card. To adjust the depth of the grid, come over to the right here and adjust this meter. You can move the grid forward or backward. Now let's set it somewhere about in the middle of the card. And if I come back and view my card like this, you can see the front face of the card. This checkbox over on the right allows you to turn edit mode on and off. That will turn the grid on and off. You can also right click outside of the card and that will turn edit mode on and off as well. You can also adjust the grid size over here on the right using the grid number meter. In this example, I'm going to use a large grid. I think it makes sense for the examples I'm giving. Now to create something on the grid, it's really easy. The dot snaps right to the grid. There's a blue bar across the bottom that represents the horizontal axis of the card. In these examples, we're going to start most of our drawings down at the base here. Let's center the cards so that we're looking right at it, and then we'll go ahead and just draw a box right here on the front. It's super easy to do. Now once the box is created, if you go to the right profile view, you can see the box in the grid. It hasn't cut anything out of the card yet. If I want to go ahead and make that cut in the card, all I have to do is click on my grid. You can see from the profile view here, it's popped out of my card. Now in the right menu as well, you have an undo and redo button. Control Z doesn't actually work in this website, so you've got to use that right side menu to remove any actions that you don't like. If you want to start all the way over, you can just click the clear faces button and that will remove everything from the card and give you a blank slate. You can also subdivide your drawings where your nodes are. This will allow you to create curves. So we're just going to get a profile view, adjust our card depth a little bit, come back to our front facing view, and let's say I want to create a half circle here. So as my mouse snaps to the grid, it's not a real true curved line. It makes for a really clunky half circle there, so it's not really smooth. But if I use these subdivision tools, I can actually create curves in my card. So if I create more subdivisions with my current selection, it will create curves on the sides there. And then if I want to curve the top right up here, I can use the subdivide X limit and it will curve that top portion, any flat X lines basically. So any, any flat lines that I have there. Now one thing you should know about curved elements it won't cut out of the back of the card. It's only going to cut out of the front of the card. So you see there, that's going to be different as opposed to your kind of rectangular shapes. Another feature you can use if you're building on the front of a face, if you want to put a shape exactly in the middle of that face, you can use the align tool. So you can see my shape is off to the left, but if I come over here to my right menu here, I can click align center and you can see it centers it on the face of the card. Now the last feature I'm going to show you here is the flip feature. So if I have a shape that I'm building that's not necessarily symmetrical, here we'll just do a little boot shape, and if I click flip, it will flip my object. You can make really symmetrical objects like this, kind of make a, a real nice appearance to your card. You can also reuse previous shapes. You just hit reuse previous, it'll create that shape. 
If you want to move the shape, you can actually right click and drag the shape and it will move it on your grid. Now there are three different types of cutouts. Up until now, we've really only used the faces cutout. However, there's two other types of cutouts as well. There's faces, there's holes, and then there's poles. A hole will place a hole on a front face. So I'd draw a shape here and you can see now there's a hole. It doesn't cut all the way back to the back of the card, just makes a hole. And if you ever draw on the grid like this and you want to stop drawing because you made a mistake, over here on the right, clear contour, that'll just deselect the grid. Now the last option is a pull option. This is where you can pull a shape out of the horizontal axis right here. So if I draw a shape, I can do it here with this horizontal axis that I have right up here, draw a top shape. Pulls out, you can see. I can also do it right here from the base. So you can see from the profile view what that looks like when I pull it from the horizontal axis. Now I'm going to go ahead and clear everything so I can show you one last feature. It's the text feature, and this is pretty intuitive to use. So you just click text, type in whatever your message is. So you go ahead and type that in. You can change features like the font, bold, size, stuff like that. Um, italic. Once you hit add, if it's not the size you like, you can just adjust the size and then hit add again, and then you'll get a different size. You can see kind of from the profile how that looks. If you want to move it from here, you can right click on the shape and then drag it, and that will allow you to move it. Uh, just click and that'll cut it out. And that's how you can add text to the card. And that's really all the features that are on this card. One thing you should know though, so you can save your projects. It saves in an OA file type. So you'll save them locally on your computer and then you can load them later. So you just use the load button here. And if you want to download this into a PNG image, you can just click download right here. It'll bring up your browser box and you can go ahead and download it from here. So what kind of cards can you create? Let us know in the comments below. Hi, thanks for watching another Web Tools video and supporting our channel. After the video, if you still have a question about something we talked about, be sure to leave a comment or hit us up on our channel. And of course, if you're interested in learning how you can use your browser to its full potential, don't forget to subscribe below.